thyroid nodules? If you have them, should you be concerned about them? So a really high percentage of people, up to 50% of people, will experience thyroid nodules at some point in their life. Um, but a very small percentage of those are ever cancerous. So here are some things that you need to know. A long time ago, before I even knew that I had anything going on with my thyroid, like hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's, um, I discovered like lymph nodes and nodules in, so your thyroid's like in this region, but sometimes you can have like swollen um, nodes and um, nodules and stuff in your throat area too. And so I was having these lumps there and I had um, a nurse practitioner, I had a, a doctor like look at them and they didn't, they didn't even like check my thyroid after I was like telling them that. Um, I was like, this is so weird. And then um, later on, I found out that I had subclinical hypothyroidism. And then not until nine months later was I checked for Hashimoto's and I guarantee I had it before that. Um, but the thing to know about that is if they're not painful, I was told that if they're not painful, just keep an eye out on them. And they weren't, they were never painful. But you know what I noticed um, when I was having them, because I don't really have them anymore. But what I noticed during that time is in times of uh, high stress and high inflammation, and maybe my diet was off or I wasn't sleeping well, they would always get worse. The other thing that I noticed that would always make it worse is when I ate gluten. Gluten is so highly um, inflammatory for the thyroid and that would always make those things <laughs> go go up. So with that being said, what do you do if you have nodules? If you are concerned about them, get an ultrasound done. Go get it checked out and rule things out if you feel like that's what your gut is telling you to do. I never did because I never felt like I needed to. Um, but the other thing that you can do is I do this still and I have people that do this as well is they'll put uh, castor oil. We have like this little neck castor oil towel. We put the castor oil on our neck and then just wrap that around it and that actually um, will decrease the size of those lymph nodes and, and nodules and I've you know had people do that. So when it comes to this it's usually connected to the thyroid vitamin and mineral deficiencies can also be connected to your lymphatic system so if you're not detoxing properly and you have a sluggish lymphatic system that can be part of it as well and so you just want to make sure that that you know those things and then you rule things out so if you if you have nodules and you haven't done anything about them you haven't done any kind of testing and you haven't done any uh, ultrasounds or anything like that or even got your blood work done to see what is off then definitely do that because you don't want to mess around you don't want to be in the potential five percent where it is where it is cancerous like you you do need to take that seriously so with that being said there are a lot of steps that you can take with that um and it's up to you to make sure that you rule things out